guys. Okay, so we are going to try this new beauty hack that involves shaving your face. I know it sounds bizarre, and I was not so sure what to think about it, but apparently people are having really great results, and I have lots of little bitty peach fuzz on my face, so if anything is going to help the foundation lay nice and flat on my skin, I'm gonna give it a try. So, that's what we're doing today. Um, I got these, where did I put the pack? I got these little face razors. They come in a pack of three. Um, I bought them on Amazon. So they have a little coil wrapped around them. And I have the one I'm going to use soaking in some alcohol because I want to sterilize it before I use it for the first time. And uh, yeah, so let's just get started and, and see how this goes. This could be a disaster and I'm terrified, but we're going to give it a try. All right, um, I'm going to start. Um, I'm fresh out of the shower, but it's been about 10 minutes and my face is already getting tight and I don't have any kind of moisturizer on whatsoever because you don't want any moisture or oil or anything on your face to do this. So, um, so I am going to put a little bit of witch hazel on a cotton ball and then I am going to just, I'm gonna do this on just one half of my face. So. I'm going to, let's move this mirror in closer. I have it on the um, magnified side of my mirror. So I'm going, apparently you're not supposed to go, I got cotton on it. You're not supposed to go completely perpendicular. You're not supposed to go straight up and down. You're supposed to kind of put it at a 45 degree angle. So. I don't know how to show you this. Pink probably wasn't the best color to choose. All right, so, <laughs> this is terrifying. All right, so you want to pull the skin taut and then go in little motions like this. I cannot believe I am doing this right now. All right, did I get anything? Oh, I did! That's crazy! A very blonde peach fuzz, but I mean, if it makes your foundation lay flatter. All right, let me zoom you in. So what I'm doing is I am pulling my skin up. I'm holding it at a 45 degree angle and I'm going in little swipes. You're not going in one big stroke. You're going in little bitty swipes. Ow, it hurts over there. Why does it hurt over there? That is so much. It's like a whole little tumbleweed of hair. I wish you could see that. Actually, it's, maybe it's just embarrassing. <laughs> I don't have that much hair on my face. All right. You want to be really careful around the hairline because it will, you know, cut your hair. This is so crazy. Don't cut off your eyebrows. Nuts. I had no idea I had this much hair on my face. Oh, see, I cut a chunk of hair. Oh, I cut like a whole little chunk of my actual hair. All right, so be careful not to do that. Like it's hanging off my eyebrows. Ah! Pay more attention to my actual hairline. Yeah. Oh, this is so weird. The sheer volume of little tiny hairs floating around me right now is just disturbing. try to do my eyebrows because I haven't waxed my eyebrows in ages. I, you have to kind of go in the direction of the hair growth. I don't know how to do this 
without like cutting off my eyelashes. Okay, with the hair growth it does not work on eyebrows. Maybe you have to go against the grain. Or maybe just straight down. I don't know. Alright, if you go down like this, you can clean up your eyebrow area. I can't even tell you how scary this is on your freaking eyelid. Like, I don't think I want to take this hair off, do I? Do I want to do that? Do people do that? I don't think I want to, like, actually take off long hair. I think you want to just kind of keep to the peach fuzz. Because people will tell you that the hair will go bra grow back darker and blacker and things like that. Your hair doesn't grow back like that. The follicle only produces that type of hair. So the little peach fuzz on my face produces blonde, incredibly short hair. That's what it's going to continue to produce. So if people want to write in that I'm going to have like a full black beard, that isn't what happens. That's not how your hair follicles work. So, Okay, I think that's as good as it's going to get. So... Let me go ahead and zoom you back out because otherwise this is gonna be terrifying to talk to you like this the entire time. All right, that's better. Let's go ahead and give it a little swipe with some witch hazel and I'll go over my whole face this time. Let me start with, oh, oh, that burns! Woo! Okay, just stings a little bit, just because you just did a major exfoliation on there. So let me get the other side too. So I'm putting the razor back in the alcohol so I can re-sterilize it. And I am going to put my face oil on my face. Um, I use an organic anti-aging serum from Made With Peace and Love. Um, I will link it on Etsy below if you're interested in trying it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and put my face oil on. Just put a little extra around the eyes because, you know, I'm older and my eyes get crinkly. They need a little extra oil. Alright, so I'm going to go soak that in for about 15 minutes and I'll be back to see you in a minute. Okay, so I've let my face oil soak in and I did a quick spritz of Breath of Fresh Air from Lush. And now I'm going to put on my Smashbox Photo Finish Color Correcting Adjust Primer. It's in green to help with some of my red. Um, I am naturally more red pigmented. I'm very pink. Um, and I got a sunburn last weekend, so I still have some of that residual left. It's, I can already feel a difference. It's very weird. It's laying on so silky smooth over here. And over here I can feel the little peach fuzz hairs that I just never noticed before because that's just the way my face felt. That's so interesting. Okay. So while I am letting my primer soak in a little bit, I am going to do a little bit more color correcting. Um, I have a color correcting palette here. Um, so I'm gonna take the green from the color correcting and put it over some of my more pigmented spots that I'm sure you saw over here um, when I was doing the shaving. So I'm going to pick up some green on a brush. I'm just gonna start tapping it where I am particularly red. Now, as you can see, with the exception of this little mole over here, everything's laying completely flat because these are all actually um, past blemishes, but I have a lot of histamine in my skin. I'm very Irish, and apparently we Irish keep a lot of histamine in our skin, so even after a blemish heals, you keep the red pigmentation for a long time. So these are all healed blemish spots, but yeah, they stay red for quite some time. And then I always have to color correct right here because years ago, um, 
I took a tumble down my driveway and removed all the skin from here, the tip of my nose, and my chin. Um, my chin doesn't really, I mean, it's red, but not any different than normal, but this little spot right here is always just a little bit pink. It never quite healed right. So, okay, I'm going to wipe my off of there. And I'm gonna use my damp beauty sponge and I'm just going to kind of pat so I don't have any harsh lines from this when I go to put on my foundation, all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on now. Um, I use the Rimmel Long Lasting Finish, or excuse me, Rimmel Lasting Finish, and I use it in colors 101 and 201 because they, they don't have a shade that quite matches my skin. And it allows me to change it um, depending on my skin tone. Like right now, it's a little bit darker than it typically is. I'm not quite as pale as I normally am. Um, so I just tap this out on the back of my hand. And then I am going to add a drop of my face oil into it. This is a Wayne Goss trick. And actually I'm gonna add two drops. Because I had that sunburn last week, my skin's still a little on the dry side. And because I just mass exfoliated over here, it's gonna be a little on the dry side. I just spit on myself. All right, and then I'm gonna take the back of a brush and I'm gonna mix this all together. All right, so I don't know if you can even see that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip my beauty sponge into it and start applying my foundation. I'm gonna speed this up because this process is gonna be really boring otherwise. So I've just cleaned off that same little brush and I'm gonna go back to my palette here. And I am going to take, see this is a highlighter, a green, a pink, and a yellow. So this is actually the first lightest um, color that they have. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this lightest concealer, I'm gonna swirl it around in my brush, and then I am going to dot on some of those spots that I am still seeing. And then I'm also going to conceal under my eyes. Okay, and I do this in a triangle pattern so I don't just have this weird crescent moon directly under my eye. So I come straight down the sides of my nose here and then under my eye and then I connect the two. Okay, and then I am going to set this with my NYX Mineral Set It Don't Fret It powder. Um, wondering if I should zoom in so you can see how this is sitting right now. I'm zooming this way in. Let's wait for it to focus on me. There we go. So you can see how it's sitting right now. 
see nice and smooth on this side. So this is the side that was shaved, this is the side that is unshaved. Notice any difference? I actually think this side is laying better because you can see fewer of my pores than you can see over on this side because there's no hair to help mask it. You can really see these pores on my cheeks. Am I the only one noticing that because I'm looking at like a really close mirror? I'll do some powder and we'll see how the powder lays. So I'm going to take my damp beauty sponge. Sorry, I'm looking off, but I'm using the screen as my mirror right now. Okay. So I've just powdered this area, but does it look any different? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my makeup and I will be back with you in a few minutes and we will discuss what we see. Okay, so this is with my makeup done. This is the shave side, this is the not shave side. Now one thing I will say about the shave side is that my blush went on really easily. On this side I had to apply it a couple times because it was very splotchy. Um, so this side it just smoothed right on and was beautiful and this is a powder blush, it's not even a cream blush. Um, but this side it was not going on really nicely so um, I had to work a little harder to get it on this side nicely. But. And obviously, you know, this eyebrow <laughs> looks rough because I haven't waxed my eyebrows in a while. And I didn't actually do a terribly good job over here because I was nervous because it, it's a wider blade and a smaller area and I didn't want to chop off on my eyelashes. Um, but blending my eyeshadow went really easily over here, much easier than over here. Um, and then on the forehead, So, and then of course around the mouth, you can, this was much easier right here and you can still see the little hairs here. I don't know how much my lens is gonna pick up, even this zoomed in. Sorry, you're like looking up my nose practically, but you know, all for the sake of beauty. Um, so overall, sorry, I've got, oh, oh wrong direction. I've got you up on my desk right now. Please ignore any of the mess you see behind me. This is my sewing area, so there's just sewing notions everywhere. Um, but yeah, I really liked it. Um, after I take my makeup off tonight, I will shave the other side because I really like it. I like how smoothly my makeup went on. I like that I used considerably less product on this side, not just in um, blush but in foundation and powder and everything just went on really smoothly I feel like it looks considerably better other you know I have my red splotches but I wasn't going too hot and heavy on them because I am sunburned and I just did a major exfoliation and um, shaving this side so I didn't go too hot and heavy in all of the concealers that I could have done to really look completely airbrushed but even from right here I think this side looks nicer so um, yeah, it's, I, I like it and I'm shocked and I thought this was completely bizarre. So I will keep you posted. Most people say they only have to do this like once a month or once every six weeks or something like that. It's not something you have to do every day. Um, so I'll, I'll keep you posted as I continue to do it, if I continue to enjoy it or if I don't or whatever. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have not subscribed yet and you would like to please hit that subscribe button down below and make sure you hit the little bell so that you are notified when I put up new videos and I will catch you guys next time. Bye.